What is going on, Radar Force? We have another uh, pretty lengthy video for you. Uh, we have Dragon Ball Z Kai, uh, the parts one through eight, uh, and the final chapters, DVD and Blu-ray. I'm going to cover them both in one video just because I have a few rants I want to go on about, which I'm going to actually do right now since you can see the spine art. As you can see, uh, for the DVDs, um, the spine art is a white background with the color text. Well, for the final chapters, when they released those, they did not let you follow the continuity of the part one through eight. They have a color background and the white text. The final chapters did not do that. And there's a little more on that in a minute here I'm going to get into. But as you can see for the Blu-ray, it's got the color background. And you can actually see the little dragon right there. So they actually did follow the continuity right there. It's just a little bit uh, more transparent on the uh, original parts than the final chapters. But that's none the least. Uh, they got the color background, white text, all the way through, even to the final chapters. But that's that's slightly a lie too, because I'm just gonna get one of these out to show you guys. So here is, uh, see on this side of the spine for the Blu-ray, it is a color background. For this side of it, it's a white background. You can display them how you want. But since they did a horrible job with the final chapters. Uh, let me just get the, one of the Blu-rays out. Well, in the final chapters, you only get one choice. You have to have the color background because it's the same. So luckily, the Blu-rays, the original Blu-ray part one through eight, they let you flip-flop between the ones you want so you can actually have them with the full continuity of the Blu-rays if you swap them on the side of the color background. Now, the DVDs, they did not give you that luxury the DVDs you have just this one side for the main spine this side is just open with the DVDs now if you could display them with the top you could do it but the top does not work because it's half the size so you technically cannot do it that way uh, a little nitpick from my personal side of things and I will show you one of these final chapters as you can see the DVD counterpart is just the blue background you don't get the flip-flop so it's super annoying and they did it differently uh, I wish the guys who designed that did it more professionally. I know they came out like, like what, uh, five years later with the final chapters, but still, they could have followed the continuity of the original releases. Uh, and also, the final chapters do not follow anything to do with the season sets, so that also does not work. Uh, anyways, enough of my ranting, we're going to get into the DVD parts. Okay, and here we have part one of Dragon Ball Z Kai. Uh, part one through four of the DVD and the Blu-rays have the Yamamoto score, which I will show you on the back in a minute. Uh, here's the front, and, the, and these also have uh, kind of a hollow uh, cover to them, and that's all the way around on the DVD parts, and I believe the Blu-ray too, which I'll get into the Blu-rays in their own. As you can see, this has its own little hollow type tint to it. And you got the top and the bottom here. <clears throat> but as you can see on the back here, it says somewhere. Where is it at? I think it's on the right side. Music right here. Kenji Yamamoto. Parts 1 through 4 will have that. Actually, parts one through five will have that, but part five does not have uh, Kenji's music on it. It has Kikuchi. Anyways, uh, what's cool about the DVDs is it has its, it's a little slip cover, and it has uh, these little disc carriers with the episode list and uh, disc one, uh, part one, part one, disc one. Excuse me, this says this is part one, disc two. Why would I must have these mixed up? No, that's uh. This, that's weird. Why is Raditz on disc 2 and Vegeta's on disc 1? That's super weird. It says 1 right there. That's super weird, man. Why would they do that? Oh, but yeah. Part 1, disc 1. I don't know why they did that. Episodes 1 through 7. Dad, you'd think Raditz would be disc 1. That's weird. Huh. Anyways. That is part 1 of Dragon Ball Z Kai. Now to part 2. Part 2 is a beautiful artwork, in my opinion. With uh, Vegeta crushing the scouter. And like I said, this is a little hollow, so keep that in mind when you're looking for these. I don't think there's any fakes of the DVDs. They are uh, pretty rare. 
uh, now. And right here it says Kenji Yamamoto here for the music. Uh, we got the Doria and a Zarbon. Uh, the Doria is disc one. Uh, part two, disc one. And then Zarbon is disc two. We got the episode list and part two, disc two. This is Zarbon. And these artwork look beautiful. The, they're, the DVDs are super high quality, like uh, release wise, you know, box wise, slipcover wise, DVD wise, super beautiful. And we have the part three with Piccolo on, super awesome artwork as well. And as you can see here on the back, music is Kenji Yamamoto. Oh, we got Gohan for part one and Krillin for part two. Uh, a little ads in here, but the episode list is behind that. Uh, disc one, part three. Uh, Krillin. Episode list and part three, disc two. And I failed to note that parts one through eight are four by three ratio. Uh, the final chapters are sadly 16 by nine. I don't know what they did with that, but the Japan release of Kai is 16 by nine as well. It's like they just gave up on me doing four by three. So the only way to watch Dragon Ball Z all the way through four by three is to get the Dragon Boxes or get the 30th anniversary set or the still books. I, I don't know why they did that. But anyways, yeah, here's part four. Frieza and Super Saiyan Goku. And as I mentioned earlier, part four is also Kenji Yamamoto. Uh, but Frieza on the back. Uh, this is awesome. We got 100% Frieza for disc one and then Super Saiyan Goku for disc two. Uh, part four, disc one. Episode list there. Um, <clears throat> uh, we got ads here. Uh, part four, disc two. Goku. Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, and now to part five. It's it's pretty controversial on part five because uh, well not controversial. Well kind of. It's kind of confusing. Here's part four with uh, Super Saiyan Trunk slashing uh, Mech Frieza. Uh, part five. And I love the I love the yellow colors on this one. Um, and here we have the back. It looks dope as crap. But as you can see right here, it says the music is Kenji Yamamoto. That is 100% not the case. Um, every copy of Part 5 will have, will say Kenji Yamamoto, but it is not Kenji Yamamoto's music. It is Kikuchi's. It's just more of a typo. And they also went with these cheaper cases right here, as you can see. Uh, but um, Part 5, Disc 1, is uh, Future Trunks here. Uh, disc 2 is Android 18. Um... Part five, disc two. But yes, this is Ken, uh, this is Kikuchi's music, and not Yamamoto. I've had a lot of people ask me that. I've confirmed it. I've watched it, and it is not Yamamoto's score. And here's part six. Uh, super dope artwork here. <clears throat> and here we have the back with uh, semi perfect cell. And as you can see right here, it is swapped to the Kikuchi music right there. Oh, we have an ad that fell out. Uh -huh. Semi-perfect cell for disc one. And we have uh, Vegeta Super Saiyan for disc two. Uh, part six, disc one. And we have Vegeta, part six, disc two. Part 7 is one of my favorite artworks in the Dragon Ball Z Kai uh, releases. Part 7, we got Goku up against Perfect Cell. And once again, this is Kikuchi's music. Bottom right, you can see it. Kikuchi. Um, <clears throat> here we have the Perfect Cell for Disc 1 and uh, Goku as Disc 2. Uh, part 7, disc 1. Part 7, disc 2. Right here. 
And now to the final, well, I call it final even though those the actual the final chapters, but final original part one through eight here, part eight, with the coming in with the best artwork out of all of them. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai Part Eight, uh, super awesome release, man. The artwork is just beautiful, and the back too. The back looks amazing. Super Saiyan Two Gohan here, and once again, this is Kakuchi's music. And um, also, the DVD covers are amazing for these. Got Goku and Gohan here. A uh, Gohan on Disc One, Part Eight, Disc One. And Goku on part eight, disc two. And now to the final chapters, which I, you know, I do love the final chapters, but I just hate the fact that it's 16 by nine. And I hate the fact that it does not match the actual spine art for the original uh, part one through eight of Kai. Uh, here is uh, the final chapters, part one, and I hate that they did part one instead of part nine. It's so aggravating. But regardless, uh, and these are also in a slipcover DVD case instead of like a box set type uh, slipcover thing. Uh, but here's um, the final chapters, part one, and as you can see, it's sixteen by nine. Freaking stupid! Why they? What's the whole point of doing Kai? You know, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, and we have a stupid DVD cover instead of a little box set to match the original one through eight. Holy crap, that just fell out. Rip video. Okay, <clears throat> okay, that was super weird. I don't know why that fell out. I had to fix that. It took me a minute too, because it's kind of complex. Uh, but here we go. Uh, we got a little insert artwork here. Disc one, disc two, disc three, and disc four. There is no episode in it. List, I guess. That's see, that's kind of lame too. They don't have the insert uh, for the episode list. It's kind of lame. It's, but whatever, you know, we'll have to get through that together. Like I, like I said, they did a super slack job on the uh, final chapters. Uh, part two here uh, of the final chapters, also sixteen by nine. Oh, uh, this is just a slipcover. I have my DVD out of, over there. I had to look to see how to fix the other one, but yeah, also sixteen by nine. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I love the uh, they trimmed the filler out though of the the uh, the boost saga. It looks it's amazing, but I just hate the 16 by 9 uh, part two of the DVDs. And here we have the inside here, Gotenks and Kid Boo fighting. Which well, it's actually Super Boo, but it looks like Kid Boo there. I'd about to say that doesn't even make sense. But uh, disc one, disc two, disc three, and disc four. And now to the final, 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 final chapters. Uh, we got a part three of the final chapter with Goku Super Saiyan 3 pushing away uh, Kid Buu with, with his air push thingy. Uh, <laughs> part three. Um, I love this artwork. I love the just the, you know the white space looks amazing. Uh, the final part two uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai. And Dragon Ball Z Kai only has 167 episodes, which is amazing. Instead of the 291, so they literally took about 200, I mean, about 120 uh, episodes away just by taking out filler. Uh, and here's part three of the DVD. And we have uh, Kid Boo punching the crap out of um, Vegeta, which is also in the one of the, isn't it, this the artwork for the best fights? Yeah, it's one of the one of the artworks for the best fights, best fights of Vegeta, I think, or the best villains, one of the two. Uh, but this one, two three and four and that concludes the dvd of dragon ball z kai parts one through eight and the final chapters parts one uh two three uh now we're going to move on to the blu-ray counterparts now moving on to the uh blu-ray side of things we have uh part one of dragon ball z kai uh like i said earlier they have the this side has the white background and the color text and this side has the color background and the white text so you have your options with uh, displaying them but you pretty much you're forced to display it with this side with the final chapters uh, the new releases uh, here's the back same as the um, DVDs and down here I sh it should say music somewhere or another music is Yamamoto score Kenji 
So, like I said, one through four, we'll have the Yamamoto score, the uh, Blu-ray, and then you have uh, disc one and disc two, episode list behind that. Uh, I don't believe, yeah. All right, and now uh, part two, and uh, I'm not sure if part one has a sticker on the front, but mine does not. Uh, the rest of mine actually have the sticker. Uh, I'm not sure if, if my season one or part one ever had it, or if any of them have it, because usually if you pull stickers off, it'll cause damage, so mine has no damage, so I'm assuming it did not have the sticker. So that may only include from parts two through eight. Uh, but here's part two. Uh, and these, the the Kai parts one through eight are very high quality. Like, you know, did they just look good? And this one's also Yamamoto score. And we have the uh, Blu-rays, part one and two in the episode list. Part three here. Got Piccolo with also the sticker on the front. And as you can see here, Yamamoto once again. And the Blu-ray shell here. Disc one and two. Nothing special, it's all the same. One thing I did not note on the uh, final chapter release, they, they did keep the disc art continuity the same. So that is a fortunate, at least, uh, part four. And this one is also um, Yamamoto, as you can see right there. Uh, here is the Blu-ray case. Now, if I'm mistaken or not, the Part 5 Blu-ray does not say Yamamoto score. I, I believe it's only the DVD that says Yamamoto. I may be wrong here, but I want to say my memory says that. We're about to find out together, though, either way. Uh, part 5 here. Uh, and let's see what it says. No, okay, it does say Yamamoto, but uh, like I said, on part five does not have Yamamoto. It has Kikuchi score. It's just a typo. They forgot to change the uh, the uh, music composer for part five on the back. And actually, I wonder if this says it on here as well. Yeah, it still says Yamamoto here, but it's not. I've already watched and confirmed that it, it is not Yamamoto. It's Kikuchi. Uh, here's the disc parts one and two. Now to part six. And here we have part six in front of your little beautiful eyeballs here. Uh, and like I said, parts one through eight are four by three uh, ratio. As you can see right there, 1080p. And this one is Pucucci. And the blue ratio. Parts one and two. This one or two, if forgive me. And moving right along, part seven, uh, beautiful artwork. Uh, same as the DVD, obviously, all of them are. Uh, this one is also uh, Kenji Kikuchi, I mean, Kikuchi. And the Blu ray show here. Parts, uh, disc one or two, I keep wanting to say parts. Uh, but uh, personally, um, if you're going to just watch them, obviously get the Blu-rays. Um, but I personally think the DVD releases are higher quality because you get the, the, the nice slip cover with the uh, two little DVD casings uh, with their own uh, individual artwork on them. I think it looks beautiful, but the parts are definitely getting rare and expensive now. Uh, and here is, last but not least, part eight to the original uh, Kai in 4x3 ratio. Uh, this one is also Kikuchi. And after this, we're going to the final chapters. And disc one and two for part eight. And unfortunately, uh, the final chapters are not four by three ratio, as said for the hundredth time in this video. All right. Now, luckily enough, the uh, Blu-ray versions of the final chapters actually will go will match with your uh, Blu-ray uh, original parts one through eight, spine-wise which I already said in the beginning of this video, but here's part one. 
But like I said, this side was supposed to be white, but it's not. And uh, this one, I'm assuming, is Kikuchi as well, unless they just changed the music entirely. No, the music is totally changed here. It's by somebody else. Uh, so that is the entire uh, final chapters. Uh, here, let's get some cover off. Uh, here we have the Blu-ray casing. Um, and let's see, this is four DVD, four disc two, one, two. So, okay, so the only difference between the, the DVD and the Blu-ray is they managed to squeeze these into three disc on the Blu-ray side of things instead of four for the DVDs. I'm guessing the DVDs can't hold as much memory. But yeah, the Blu-rays have three discs and the DVDs have four. Uh, part two of uh, final chapters. Uh, uh, disc one, two, and three. And it also says it here, three Blu-ray discs. That's neat to know. I forgot to. I for, totally forgot about that. I thought they all had four discs. And last but not least, we have the final chapters, part three. I got this signed by Josh Martin, I believe. Uh, he put "boo kill, boo kill you." Uh, awesome guy, super down to earth. Uh, got this signed just for the fun of it. Um, and this is part three of the final chapters here. And the case here. Got disc one. Two and three here. This one's also on a three disc thing. And that concludes uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai on DVD and Blu ray, including the final chapters, uh, all the way through on this episode of Product Review. Uh, we're just going to display the Blu rays here for the ending. Just because I personally think the Blu rays look better because the spine colors match if you display it the right way. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please. Leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more Dragon Ball Z products uh, and media reviews. Uh, until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, you guys take care. You guys are awesome. Uh, see you later, guys. Peace.